Are you tired of FPS drops and lag ruining your CS2 matches? In this video, I'll show you hidden CS2 tweaks that seriously boost FPS, fix sudden frame drops, and eliminate lag all tested and working in 2025. So without wasting any time, let's max out your performance, step by step. Gear Up Booster is a best tool to reduce your ping while playing games. It works with both wired and wireless connections. Download it for free from my description and enjoy smoother gameplay with lower ping. Step 1. Use Storage Sense to clean up Windows for CS2. In this first step, we will clean up your PC using a built-in Windows tool called Storage Sense. Open Settings on your PC. In the search bar, type Storage Sense and click on it. Turn the switch on to enable Storage Sense. This tool will now automatically remove temporary and useless files from your system. Next, click Configure Cleanup Schedules. Set the cleanup to Run Cleanup Every Day, Delete Files in Recycle Bin after 14 days. These settings will help keep your system clean and stop it from slowing down over time. Now click Run Storage Sense Now to clean up your PC right away. Doing this regularly keeps your PC running fast and helps improve FPS and reduce lag in CS2. Step 2. Unlock all CPU cores to boost CS2 performance. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. Now we'll make sure your CPU is using all its cores while you play CS2, giving you the best possible performance. Download and install a free tool called Park Control on your PC. Open the Park Control program after installing it. In the program, select the power plan called Bitsum Highest Performance. This setting forces your CPU to run at full power without slowing down. Now change these settings. Parking AC. Set this to 100% and turn it off. Parking DC. Set this to 100% and turn it off. Frequency Scaling AC. Set this to 100% and turn it off. Frequency Scaling DC. Set this to 100% and turn it off. Look for the option Bitsum Dynamic Boost and make sure it is turned on. This setting automatically turns off unused CPU threads when you're not gaming and turns them back on when gaming starts. Giving CS2 more CPU power. Now open your Windows Power Options. Select the Bitsum Highest Performance Plan to make it your active power plan. Confirm that both CPU parking and frequency scaling are set to 100% for both AC, plugged in, and DC battery. Click Make Active, then click Apply to save your settings. Now your CPU is fully unlocked and ready to deliver top performance while running CS2. Step 3. Use MSI Afterburner to improve GPU performance in CS2. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. Next, we're going to boost how your graphics card performs in CS2 by using a program called MSI Afterburner. Go to your Tools folder and install MSI Afterburner. Once it's installed, open the MSI Afterburner program. You will see sliders that let you adjust GPU settings. First, increase both the power limit and the temperature limit to their maximum values. Do not touch the core voltage slider. Leave it unchanged. Now start increasing the memory clock in small steps of plus 20. Example, start at zero, then try 20, then, then 40, so on. After each change, open CS2 and test the game to see if it runs better and stays stable. Once you find the best setting that gives higher FPS and doesn't crash the game, click apply to save the changes. This step improves GPU performance and gives you higher FPS in CS2. In this step, I'm going to show you the best tool to get stable ping while gaming. So first, download the Gear Up Booster tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the Middle East server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the end tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let gear up automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to automatic for the best results. Finally close the window and launch your game using gear up booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Step 4. Free up RAM using ISLC Intelligent Standby List Cleaner for CS2. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. Now we'll clean up RAM memory to give CS2 more free memory to use using a tool called ISLC. Open ISLC on your computer. 
At the top of the window, look at your total memory in megabytes. Find the box that says free memory is lower than and type in half of your total RAM. Examples. If your RAM is 32,000 megabytes, type 16,000. If your RAM is 16,000 megabytes, type 8,000. Tick these two boxes. Start ISLC minimized. So it runs in the background. Launch ISLC on user logon. So it starts automatically when Windows boots on the right side of the program, turn on timer resolution and set it to 0.5 oil. Set the polling rate to 1000. If your system is slow, use 1000 instead. Click stop, then click start, then click purge standby list. This clears unused memory and helps CS2 run smoother with more available RAM. Step five, turn off Windows telemetry for better CS2 performance. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. Windows has background services called telemetry that collect data and slow down your system. Turning these off helps CS2 run better. Download and open a tool called O&O Shut Up 10. In the program, click Apply Only Recommended Settings. This will safely disable all the background tracking features you don't need. If the program asks to make a system restore point, you can skip it, especially if you already have one saved. Keep in mind, small windows features like clipboard history or storage sense might stop working. That's normal. If something stops working or behaves strangely, click Undo all changes in the tool to restore default settings. When everything looks good, tick the box. Do not show this message again and click OK. This turns off unnecessary tracking and background tasks, which helps CS2 run with less lag and better FPS. Step 6. Lower keyboard input delay using filter keys, setter for CS2. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. This step helps make your keyboard respond faster when you're playing CS2 by using a tool called Filter Keys Setter. Open the Filter Keys Setter tool. You will see three settings. Change them to the following. Ignore. Under. Set to 0 milliseconds. This removes the delay before key presses are detected. Repeat delay. Set to 130 milliseconds. This sets how fast a key starts repeating when held down. Repeat rate. Set to 10 milliseconds. This makes key repeats happen faster. On the right side, check the small box to enable these settings. Click OK to save and apply the settings. Now your keyboard will feel more responsive, which is very helpful in fast-paced CS2 matches. Step 7. Disable HPET to stop stuttering and FPS drops in CS2 HPET stands for High Precision Event Timer. Follow these steps to disable it. Right-click on the Start button and select Device Manager. Scroll down and expand the section called System Devices. Look for a device called High Precision Event Timer. Right-click on it and choose Disable. Disabling HPET can help reduce lag and fix stuttering issues in CS2. If this CS2 optimization guide helped you boost your FPS and fix lag, please hit the like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel for more helpful gaming tips that are simple and work. Thanks for reading, and I'll see you in the next guide.